How you doing? Today I'm going to show you how to set up an Amazon HD Fire tablet. So before I show you how to set it up, I want to tell you why I think these things are so great. So first off, this tablet here is the 8 inch version. They have a 7 inch and a 10 inch version, but I think the 8 inch is the sweet spot because you can hold the device in just one hand. The second thing I love about this is the price. These retail for about $79.99, but they're also on sale throughout the year for $49.99. Compare that to the price of an iPad, which starts about $250. You could buy five of these for that price. So the next thing I love about this, it's the ultimate entertainment device. It's perfect for lounging out on your couch and watching videos on Netflix and Hulu, Amazon Prime, for playing video games, for doing social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. It's perfect for all of those. If you're looking for a work device, this is not for you. This is really meant for entertainment only. And the final thing I love about this device is that it comes with the Amazon Alexa built into the device. So you can speak to it and do all the commands that you could on a regular Amazon Alexa device. So with that, let me show you how to set this up. Okay, so let's unbox this tablet and see what's inside. Already took off the back. Here we have the tablet and Inside here looks to be a charging wire, a cable, and some instructions. Okay, we're just going to unwrap this plastic that comes on the tablet. Beautiful. And the power button is in the upper right of the screen. Just push that on. And you might need to plug this in if it doesn't have any power. Here we go. Give that a second. Okay, so the first time it boots up, it might take a, a few minutes, so just be patient. The first thing you want to do is choose your language. So we're going to choose English, which is set by default. And then you're going to connect to your local Wi-Fi. So from here, connect your Wi-Fi and log in. I'm going to log in and I'll be right back. So on this screen, you're going to create an Amazon account. So you do not need to have an Amazon Prime account, but you just do need an Amazon account. So if you don't have one, you can click on the bottom where it says new to Amazon, start here, and you can make your, make your own. Or if you already have one, just tap the email and password and sign in. So in this step, they want payment information. So I have the screen covered so you can't see the payment on our, on our tablet, but it's pulling the uh, payment details from the existing Amazon account. So if you need to create a new card, there's a button that says pay with new card. Okay, so we've entered a payment information on an, the next screen it's just telling you that it set up your tablet to your current existing time zone so it set the time for you it's asking to enable location services so that apps like maps and and things can use your location uh, it's, it's asking to save your Wi-Fi password so that um, you can easily get on the internet and is asking if you want to auto save photos and videos that you take on your device to their free five gigabytes of um, Amazon Drive space. So they're all turned on by default. You can leave them on if you choose. I would suggest you leave them all on and just move on. So on this screen, it's notifying you that there's an update that's available and you should certainly hit the button that says update now and let the device update itself because you're going to get the latest version of their operating system which is always the best thing to use. So my tablet has been updated and restarted itself and now I'm greeted 
with this message that says meet your fire tablet and it's got a little video that From will play watching movies and reading books to asking alexa for the weather there are lots of ways to enjoy your new fire tablet but this next screen is asking if you want to make the tablet kid friendly so that's up to you whether you have um, children that's going to be using this or not so now amazon in their amazon way will try to upsell you on some of their other services of which you just need to say not now there's one for goodreads and here they're trying to get you to try amazon prime and they're telling you what you get with that again to say no thanks and yet another trial for audible you have to say no thanks by a little text link And finally, it's suggesting some apps for you to download and install. I'm going to say not now, and I'll show you how to install apps using the App Store. Okay, next they're going to walk you through a tutorial that teaches you how to use your tablet. I'll let you go through the screens on your own. For now, I will pause the video until the next section. On this screen, they're introducing you to the Alexa device and telling you what it can do. For me, this is one of the coolest and most useful features of the tablet, so I use it all the time. I highly suggest that you tap on Enable Alexa so that she will work on this device. Okay, so I'm gonna hit continue. Here they're just giving you some more information about the settings that you can use with Alexa. You can read that on your own and just hit finish when you're done. So whether you saw their tutorial or not, I will give you my 60 second tutorial on how to really use this tablet. Okay, so the screen you're seeing here is the home screen. You can tell by the orange home in the upper left corner. And this is really what I consider the main and the most important screen. It shows you all the apps that are currently installed on your tablet and you just can scroll up and down to see them and everything is on this one screen only. The rest of the menus along the top in my opinion are not even needed or even desirable. For example if I scroll to the left it shows it says for you in the upper left corner and they're suggesting apps to install and movies to rent or watch and they're just basic ads really the same is true for the other menus if you tap on books on the top it'll just suggest books that you can rent using the amazon services the next tab is videos same thing different videos that it suggests that you can watch um, games so they're all pretty much ads. They're, these are not, this is not the app store. They're just suggested apps to install. And this little apps menu, again, is a shortcut to certain apps that they're suggesting. It's really not the app store. Neither are music and audible and news. So all these different menus are simply promotional, in my opinion. The most important one is the home menu. So here's how to install apps. On the home screen, look for an icon that says App Store. It's the one that's titled Apps right here. And this is the true App Store where you can go and search and install any type of game or app to the, to the device. To get back to the home screen, you simply tap the circle that's on the bottom of the screen. That's the home button. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell, how to turn on and install and set up an Amazon Fire tablet and get some apps. If you have any questions, please post comments below and I'll try to answer them as quickly as I can. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and follow my channel for more tech videos. The final thing I love about this device is that ah, is it is it yeah yeah.